Yes. So don't keep right. postponing this because later, yeah, you will get busy with a lot of other activities. You've got article presentation, teaching practice. You will all be very busy in the next few weeks. So you'll have to complete this as soon as possible. Try to read one thing or the other every day. All right. Great. Yeah. Good to hear that. Yes. Yes. Everybody is typing yes. Okay. Right. Now, I, what I want you to do is I, I will share a short text with all of you. You have to read it aloud. Right. Quickly, you have to read it aloud. Yes. One second. I'll share the text. Fine. I want all of you to please read this text aloud. Read it aloud for yourself. Mute your microphone. Mute your, mute your microphone, but read it aloud. Yeah, I'll give you two minutes. Can you all see that? Is it clear or not? Yes, sir. You can read it, right? Yeah. Read it aloud. Please read it aloud. Bring your pet today, disaster. I had my backpack on my back. Maxi inside. Ola had a bird cage with her parakeet. Gerald perched on a little swing. We were all excited to have our pets with us. Once we got on the bus, though, things started to go downhill. The bus was so noisy. In addition to the normal chatter of the kids, uh, the animals would not use their inside voices. Uh, and the smell was terrible. Jack's nose was trying to sniff all the new smells. Uh, and it was hard to get him to follow me into a seat. Uh, when we were seated, another dog rushed up to us uh, with a leash trailing behind her. She and Jack started to sniff each other. Curious. Please mute your microphone, Suchar Suchariita. Huh. Read it for yourself. Yes. Finished? Have you all yes, finished? Sir. Yes. Have you all finished? Yes, sir. Yes, great. Great. Yes. Now, one of you, please tell me what is, what is it about. Just unmute and tell me what is the passage about. Can you present a summary, a brief summary of the passage? What's happening in the passage? It's not, a, I mean, I'm not showing you the complete passage. You have read, just read half of it. Tell me what you have understood. What is it about? Pet animals brought to the school. Okay. Go on. Please summarize. Present a brief summary. I'll ask. Yeah, maybe Bharati Rani can do that. Or Abdul Rajak. Amala. Yes, sir. Ah, Bharati Rani. Yes. So, students are informed to bring the pets to the school one day and children started bringing their pets to schools and um, uh, children, uh, some of the children, so they step on to their bus with their pets and they left the pets inside the bus. So, the driver said uh, not to leave the pets, so hold them. So, they, they were very busy with their pets 
after getting into the school also the school looked like a zoo as the pets were left here and there and uh, the pets uh, even the boy also stamped into the puddle that uh, made by the pets okay right thank you so thank you that's it that's it all right yeah next uh, next kalaiwani or gigi joseph somebody what have you read can you summarize that passage or krishna rao meri ji anybody gangadhar or miss ashwini yeah who will summarize meri Uh, no, 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 not you. Somebody else. Please give chance to others. Prakash Naik, maybe or Prabha, Preeta, Ram Reddy. Anyone? Quickly. I just want you to check your comprehension, reading comprehension. How does reading aloud help? I want you to understand whether reading aloud is a useful activity or not. that was a purpose yeah nirupama hmm. loud reading is a good activity for the children actually hmm. uh, hmm. text is not visible for me as many of us are going to going on this online trade to our mobile phone hmm. uh whenever you present the text uh, you please this for your video and so it's not clear madam can you speak a little louder not clear not clear sir uh, the, the text was not visible to me as i am attending okay. the program in my mobile mobile okay okay right right yeah. i can understand yeah, i can understand okay. the problem i can understand yes 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 okay so i just want you want you to think about this activity how does reading aloud help is it useful at all if yes to what extent is it yes, useful sir, useful how much of reading aloud should we do in yes, the classrooms it is useful lower so, so mm-hmm. it is very useful Mm-hmm. and it it improves our pronunciation yeah does it help in comprehension that's my question a good point it improves your pronunciation yes i agree what about comprehension does it facilitate comprehension or is it an i think it's not helpful sir mm. it is it some help. some i think to some extent it will help sir. sir yeah it helps only to some extent right yes, yes sir, sir. so i yeah so uh, when you were reading it aloud maybe your concentration was divided between speaking and reading in your case very it is very helpful for students i am unable to i am unable to comprehend the passage when i am reading aloud yeah yeah it will improve for students correct sir that's right it builds their confidence for students maybe. it is helpful yeah for students it may be helpful it builds their confidence you will know it is it is easy to teach and to understand the skill of the children right now you can mute your mic okay now you can mute please mute your mic get all of you yes it creates students interest in reading in english yes yes sir it is easy to teach to understand the yes sir yeah right mute your microphone now yeah that's right i understand it may be useful to your students to some extent only in knowing whether they are able to recognize words read them aloud properly with good pronunciation accent all that is actually accent pronunciation stress intonation is all part of speaking it doesn't come under reading so i would say reading aloud is more related to speaking than reading all right it improves their speaking skills not really reading comprehension so if you have to develop your students reading comprehension then you should encourage them to read the text silently it's very very important to train up students in silent reading that's where you can concentrate on the text and then you can develop all the other micro skills involved in reading right so the, what i'm going to do now is share the same passage which you will have to read silently i'll show the same passage those of you who are attending the session from your mobile you may find it difficult to read it's available in google if you just go to google type pet day disaster see the title of the story is pet day disaster 
if you google you will get the passage you can share it in the whatsapp group also so what i want you to do is read the same passage silently now and tell me the names of the characters that are introduced in the passage names of the animals which which of the animals are mentioned in the passage just make a list read quickly but silently i want all of you to read the passage silently now not allowed okay read it silently and then you have to tell me the summary you have to summarize the passage in your own words and sentences yeah read silently and present a brief summary later yes 5 minutes One second, one second. I'll share the passage. you can make it full screen from your end all right there are four arrows if you click on that you can make the slide full screen please try to read it on full screen mode Then finished all of you. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. Were you able to concentrate better? Were you able to read the passage with better comprehension? What do you think? Which is better, reading aloud or reading silently? Yes, reading silently. Reading silently. Reading silently. Yes, silently. Silent reading, right? Why? Why do you think silent reading was better? We concentrate because on. we can concentrate on the content sir yeah. rather than the you can read it you can understand the difficult you words so you can understand yes. the difficult words you can guess their meanings you can read quickly it saves time you can note down difficult words you can make notes you can note down that's right good yes okay now one of you can briefly summarize the story what is the story about tell me yeah Suchay, Suchary, the, st yeah. the students were given a chance to bring their pets uh, to school, sir. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, all all of the students uh, they brought their own pets. Uh, some of them brought their uh, bought their uh, brought their dogs, and then uh, 
some bo uh, brought their fishes and uh, some other cats and uh, uh, parakeets and other things uh, so the school yard almost look like a uh, zoo uh, with animals uh, everywhere uh, yes. so would you like to have a pet day in your school like this no no <laughs> no sir <laughs> but all the students are safe no sir How many of you want to celebrate a pet day in your school? Sir, we we have an area, and we keep it there, means sir, uh, to relax the students in between classes. But is it's it a good idea? It's also one type of attractive place for the students. Is, is it a good idea children. to celebrate pet day in your school? What do you think? Yes, sir. 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 Or do you think both are, much more both practice? are needed sir both are needed sir silent reading and loud reading by reading aloud students are needed the modern days we can guide the students how to read and uh, how to pronounce both, both are useful then to comprehend both the are needed sir silent reading both are good. useful both are needed i yes. agree but both have different purposes both do yes, have the same purpose that's what you yes. understand yes reading aloud sir yes. Yes, by reading, uh, by reading aloud, silence reading is comprehension for comprehension. That's right. That's right. Yes. So they serve different purposes. We should not uh, mix them up. Yes. 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 Yes.
Finally, they should be able to read any text independently. They cannot depend on the teacher, right? So, and in real life, most of the reading is done silently. See the reading log you talked about. I don't think any of you were reading those materials aloud. When you're traveling, you cannot read even newspapers aloud. When you're in the library, you cannot read anything aloud. You have to maintain silence. When you're at home, you read silently. So real life reading is always silent reading. Only classroom reading, I think, is reading aloud. That is surprising. Why we spend so much of time giving students individual reading aloud practice. If you want to do it, there are other ways of doing it. They can actually, these days, you're all into online teaching, right? They have got their smartphones, mobile devices. What they can do is they can record the lesson at home, send it to the teacher. So reading aloud can be done at home. Why should we waste classroom time? I heard one of my professors saying, reading aloud in the classroom, I mean, we generally make individual students read the paragraph aloud, right? One by one. Whole class time is when is wasted actually. So he was saying, the professor was saying, it's a criminal waste of students' time. So these days, instead of doing it in the classroom, I think it's better we do it online. Let them record the lesson, send it to the teacher. You can listen to it, make corrections. Model reading, you can record it, send it to them on WhatsApp. So why should we do it only in the classroom? Why can't we think of alternative ways of giving them practice? You can prepare an audio book. I know many teachers who are preparing audio books these days. The lessons are converted into an audio. Poems are converted into an audio text. And they prepare an audio book. Audio book sounds something uh, marvelous, but it's very simple. You just record it and send it. Send the audio or video recording to your students. Let them listen, practice. Let them record and send it to you. It can be done. It can be done. But classroom time should be spent for interesting activities. Even reading aloud, reading silently, they can do at home. But you should have engaging, deep discussions in the classroom. You should have lots of activities in the classroom, interactions in the classroom. You should ask higher level questions related to the passage in the classroom. So that is how you can spend quality time in the class. Right? It should not be a mechanical kind of activity where they just read one by one. No. Okay, now what I'll do is the passage I've shown is incomplete. Now, can you continue the passage? Can you continue the story? What do you think happens next? Quickly, anybody? So the school looked like a zoo. There were animals everywhere, dogs of all shapes and sizes. Okay, that's now what do you, how do you conclude this story? What happens next? Can you continue? Continue the story? Yeah. Anyone? You can unmute and yeah. yes, please. The, sir, the principal may come and ask mm -hmm. the student uh, and ask the instruct the class teachers and uh, all the students to take care of their pet animals because the school is not a zoo and you are making like a zoo. We are uh, mm -hmm. engaged this day for only to entertain you, but you are making a mess here. Uh, right, and right. Uh, give it like that. Okay. okay, so is it students' fault then? <laughs> All right, so they are. <laughs> we, okay. we the school was the one more ending, okay. sir. Yes, one more ending. Mm. Good, anyway, I like sir, it. I like class, the principal. Yes, I like that. In, yeah, continue next. Okay. In the, the class, only one active boy is there. Uh, he is not that. Uh, to make counting numbers and all by uh, the animals using our slow learners shape mm -hmm. by making team. Okay. So that Good he way. make them to counting numbers and all in small areas. Okay. Yes. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Then Next. teacher appreciated him and gave our prize to that boy. I see. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Spending Next. time in that. Place. Yes. Yes. Next. Okay. Yeah. Next. Venu Gopal or somebody? Yes, Venu Gopal, Shikhar. Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, principal madam came and uh, assigned the duties to the different uh, students. Some mm -hmm. are asked to write about the animals uh, and some are asked to differentiate the domestic and wild animals. And, uh, and they have to present all those things in the uh, on the stage. Okay, they will write and they will present. So writing and activity and uh, speaking activity will be done at the same time. 
Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. So you're relating it to a language class, all right? Reading, writing. Good. Next, anyone else? Ravindra Babu, Ravi Kumar, Ram Reddy. Yes. Anup. Yes. So, so the students uh, provided an opportunity for a pet show, so that the uh, so that they can exhibit the type of their pet. Later on, uh, there was three, and the best performer was provided with an award. What is it? Best performer. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Best performer. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh. Good, good, good. Yeah. So dog show, like a dog show. Yes. So some of you can continue the story in the chat box. Please continue. What do you think happens next? Anyone else, meanwhile, who wants to unmute and give it an ending to the story? Anybody? You can use the chat box as well. What do you think happens next? So as a tips, bring your pet day disaster. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, 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 that I behaved in such a way that the uh, whole thing uh, uh, got messed up. Huh? Mm -hmm. So uh, the management might have uh, decided not to celebrate any such days further. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Yes, that's also possible. Yes. Right. Next. Sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the principal saw a few students without pets, so she felt sorry for them. And then she asked uh, them what type of pet they want. And then the next day she presents them with the with the pets of their wish. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, very good. Yes, that's also possible. Uh, so, mm -hmm. okay, after our. Uh, after, with the help of the teachers, the principal has uh, decided to arrange the animals in a proper order. And uh, the principal ordered or uh, recommended the students to go and meet the features of the animal. And when they come next day, so prepare a short note on the day. Uh, so that's what they, the homework is given. And the students were so happy and they went home. Okay, good. Very good. Very good. Yes. Meanwhile, Surya Prakash has asked some questions in the chat box about reading aloud, silent reading. Any of you can answer his question. I don't think I need to tell you how to do reading aloud in the class, how to give practice in silent reading. Those of you who can answer this question, please use the chat box, try to respond to his question. How we can make students read aloud, silent reading. I think it's not a difficult thing to do. You just have to see how you can pay individual attention to the students and more reading aloud or silent reading, you'll have to monitor, right? Yeah, that's important. And you can, it's difficult to do it with a textbook like this. If they are not able to read a long lesson, then you should use small reading cards or pictorial reading. You can begin with pictorial reading, begin with reading uh, tables, columns, give information in the form of a table, make them read information given in diagrams, or make them read some authentic materials like newspapers, short stories, magazines. So you should know where to start from. The starting point is important. Not begin with uh, unit one of your textbook, which may be much above the level of the students. Right? Begin with flashcards. Yes. Uh, that's right. Well, I'll come back to it later. Now, let me continue the passage. All right. So you will read the next part of the passage. Yes, please look at the next part. Read it silently. Yes. Right? Finished?
Yeah, right? So is it a good idea to have a pet day in your school? What do you think? Is there anyone who wants to have a pet day in your school? Yes, Nirupama has raised a suchari. No, yes. sir. You better take no, or sir. Do. <laughs> yes. It's a dream. It's, it's a dream. dream. It's a dream. Yes. And I woke up dream. in my bed. Yes, yes. It's a dream. Right? Right, okay. Right, all right. So the point is, is, let me share another slide, all right. Yeah. So what do you think is the difference between reading aloud and silent reading? So what? First of all, let's look at the differences. Reading aloud is articulating, speaking and pronouncing the words in print. Whereas silent reading is done silently, as you all know. And when we read aloud, we read every word. Whereas in silent reading, not every word is read as we read for comprehension. Do you all agree?